saving people of this holy city. From this day. Uh-huh. Now, I just put them out for you to look at. Tell me what you need, and be quick about it. So one of those two, yeah? the stops walk blast they just sit on their asses and hope things settle themselves walk blast what can i do for you I wager you talk to a lot of travellers, don't you? I'm an adventurer. Any tips you could give me? <laughs> what, you're asking me? I'm flattered. But let me think. Uh, you know, my grandfather always used to read to us from this old book, Myths and Legends. I think one of the former Archmagisters of the Order wrote it, and there were all kinds of tales about those mythical creatures that apparently roam Enderal. Grandpa always said they were just tales, but who knows? You should go to the library. Maybe they still have a volume of that book there. I've read a couple of those books. How's business? Quite the question. As well as can be expected under the circumstances, I suppose. Those Nehremese heretics raided and ransacked half of the farm at the farmer's coast. Great saviors they are, I tell you. Let's hope the order makes short work of them. Show me your ways. Sure. May your path always be even. Sorry, I'm not in the mood for talking. Bill. Maybe later. Maybe. Hey, you're an adventurer, aren't you? Have you been to, oh, how do they say it? Melee? My dad told me that's where the petrified. Renage. Of course, Sherry. Morales blessings, my friend. How do you know that I'm an adventurer? What one wears tells more than a thousand words, as we Kilians like to say. You are surrounded by a feeling of an adventurer as much as a keeper is surrounded by a feeling of honor. And I think I might just have something in stock, which could be to your liking. If it's climb and fish you seek, do you? Do you do? What would that be? A potion. One of my friends in the Blue Islands Coalition gave it to me with the last delivery. And he said they took it from pirates. Of course, that sparked my interest. And so I asked an apothecary to examine it. And now brace yourself. He said this potion grants its user extraordinary powers. Here. Take a look. Beautiful, isn't it? It can be yours for only 200 pennies. 200 pennies? Hungry? I've got just what a weary traveler needs. Sure. 
200 pennies for such a magical potion? That sounds like a suspiciously little. Uh, well, um, okay. I guess you got me. Here is your game, Penny. Okay, game penny? Oh my, you haven't seen much of this world, have you? The game penny. It is a symbolic guerdon. A Chilean merchant pays to his customer if he or she... Well, you know. If he tries to fraud him. Fraud? Ugh, such an ugly word. We Chileans consider every human being to be able to decide for themselves what they believe. But forgive my demeanor. I sometimes forget which country this is. We Chileans always like to say, a good haggling is like making love. No matter how it ends, having had, it is better than not having had it at all. But since this is not Chile, uh, I'll give you a discount on my wares. That should be enough of a compensation. Don't you agree? What do you have you sell? Spices, rugs, delicacies, only the best. Straight from Kile. Take a look. There we go. Farewell. All for the well-dressed walk. All your heart could ever desire. Take a look. There we Make go. Light guide you. Come back if you find the time. Earning so much from just selling. How may I be of service? Of course. Don't have any weapons to sell. Daggers, swords, hmm? the best from the Kalenak, looking for everything for the path abiding soldier. I forget which learning books I don't need anymore.
guy. That will have emptied my inventory for quite a bit. I do still have two staffs here though. You've seen me around uh, several times around already. And tell me if you, see anything you, like. you don't need to keep saying you haven't seen me. Oh, a bit of this and that. Uh, feel free to take a look. Luck blessed. Greetings. Sure. You don't buy. You'll buy that one, but you won't buy the. Um. Staff. Pretty sure that means I've read those three. May his light guide you. Yeah, those three I have learned. Don't get any younger. This is the place I was looking for. What? Well, a bit of everything. Just look for yourself. You can buy the staff, that's good. Why is one of those wolf blood potion uh, books less? Is there any different between them? They're exactly the same. Okay. Ah, so these tell me the ingredients needed to brew each of those potions. I do have two ambrosia ones. Well, a bit of everything. Just look for yourself. Walk blessed. And I think that's pretty much it.
Now look at that. If yeah. it isn't my new friend. What brings you here? Have you also been granted an audience by the most pleasant living person in the civilized world? You're talking about Dal Loran, I take it. Well, certainly not the fabled king of old Aranath. But yes, after three days of keeping me waiting, the great Deloran has finally deigned to see me. I suppose I should feel honored. What brings you here? More errands? More errands. I feel for you. Nice to see, however, that your travels have brought you into warmer regions of this country, too. I miss the sun and beaches of Kilay. I really do. How do you know I've been to the east? We all have our secrets, don't we? Now, off you go to your master. I've heard he doesn't like his pets to keep him waiting. What well, bless it, my sir. Yes? I found the ingredients. Wonderful. I've not been idle in the meantime either. Another protector provided me with some information on this Dijon. And as little as I like to say this, the odds that the Kaleans really are behind the ambush get more likely by the minute. That's bad. So, what's the next step? As I said, we need to be sure. First, we need to wait for the report from the Apothecarius. Then... You miserable, two-faced bastard! Don't you have any respect? I could ask you the same thing. I... Have I heard correctly that you seriously believe we had something to do with the ambush on your caravan? What I believe is that there have been a series of peculiar coincidences, which we are investigating. No more, no less. Peculiar coincidences. I see. You did come in on a conversation that had nothing to do with you. As peculiar as the fact that you coincidentally forgot to inform us that the Scarabaeus has been stolen by a bunch of bandits? Leave. Now. The Blue Islands Coalition will learn of this accusation. Be sure of that. And you. You are no better. Bloody liars, all of you. It wasn't my place to tell you. Irreverent wind. How did she know? She must have eavesdropped. Kaleans like to do that. Do you still think that Kaleans are really behind the ambush? Onella seemed offended by the implication. How does the saying go? Those who've lost the path shout the loudest. If there were nothing to our assumptions, she would have stayed calm. But still, we need to know for certain. How do you think the Blue Islands Coalition will react to this? The question is when. I assume Onelis will contact them by letter. But even if she hires a myriad courier to carry it, it will be days until the Kaleans get it. Until then, we won't know for sure. Here's your pay. You will hear from me once there's news. Cool. Now, a good pipe of peace, we. 500 out of. Why is that nice. so expensive? It's all them pretty much behind me.
Yes? Monsieur? My sir. There you are. To spa? You? Why are you here? I was looking for you. Are you okay? You seem a little rattled. What? Uh, no, no. I Don't worry about it. I just needed some air. You know, I've had this question in my head for quite some time now, and I, I can't figure out the answer to it. Tell me. Maybe I can help you. Okay. Imagine a girl. Ever since she was a child, she's been abused by her father. Beaten, in other words. She grows to be a woman, and eventually her father dies. Then she falls in love with a man who has a lot of similarities with her father. She doesn't know why she loves him, but she does. And though it all seems nice in the beginning, he becomes more and more aggressive, starts screaming at her for no reason, until one day, he too grabs the cane she knows all too well. Now, the question. On a very conceptual level, who is responsible for the situation the woman's in? Her companion because he abuses her? The woman herself because she unconsciously picked a man similar to her father, or her father because he was the one who beat her in the first place. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's her fault at all. It's between her father and the partner. I'll say the partner because he's the one doing it at the moment. The companion, of course. He's the one who's, who chooses to beat her. From a logical point of view, yes. He's the one ultimately responsible for hitting her. But does he really consciously choose to do so? Or perhaps he too only imitates what he learned from his father. He can choose to change. Any peculiar reason you are thinking about this? No particular reason, I suppose. Anyway, you said you were looking for me. What's wrong? There's something I need to tell you. Tell Jaspar about the murders and the black stone. What, so the Archmagister really believes we Delverix owned one of those stones? Yep. I would have known that. Believe me, I've snuck inside our manor's treasure chamber more than once, and there was no black stone whatsoever. Huh? And what about the, this package? The murders? Can you make sense of that? Not in the least, no. Setting aside the fact that what you're describing is bloody spooky, I don't have the slightest idea who might have an interest in sending me on this morbid paper chase through Ark. Either whoever did this has mistaken me for someone else, or we're dealing with a seriously disturbed individual. Well, if you believe this, those confession letters, all of those murder victims were criminals. If you ask me, the whole thing looks like some kind of revenge act. Yeah, I already suspected as much. But still, it doesn't change the fact that I have no idea who might be behind this, and why he sent me this package and not, for example, the Ark Guard. I see. What about this cipher at the end of each of the letters? Any idea as to what might mean? To what that might mean? No, none. That's... Wait. Could you show me those letters again? By the wise hermit, that's... No, that, that's not possible. What? These fragments, if you combine all of them, they make a sentence. Knock, knock, who's there? Come in alone, if only you dare. I figured out that much, but what's that supposed to be? It, but, no, that doesn't make sense. 
I know that phrase from my childhood. Adila and me, it was, it was our code when we snuck out of the house to go on one of our expeditions. Your sister? So you're saying she could be behind all this? Yes, but no, that, that just doesn't make sense. Adila's an apothecary, not a goddamn assassin. You said one of the corpses you found was a hired killer. How, how in blazes could my sister kill someone like that? And why? The black stone. It just adds up. If she found it, the high ones could have driven her to kill the, these people and given her the power to do it. Oh, come on, that's just bullshit. Even if the stone somehow gave her the power to do this, Adela wouldn't hurt a fly. Come on, I'll prove it to you. Meet me in Duneville. I'll take you to our hideout. Back to Duneville. Not going back to Duneville just yet because I've got too much to do around here. Still got three more points in here to do. That's the one I want. Arc Barrett Quarter. Yourself. The streets aren't safe this time of the day. I realize I'm 